Hello, students, and welcome to today's episode of the Terabyte series, Past Questions and Answers. My name is Sir Brew, and on this episode, I will be taking you through the 2016 student candidate WASI elective ICT practical paper. Now, once again, as I have always said, and it's very important, you need to create a folder that contains your name and your index number, where you'll be storing all your practical solutions to. The solutions you will be storing in this folder will be bent onto a compact disk, which will be presented to WIEC for your assessment. So always make sure you create a folder with your name and your index number. To do that, you basically right click, whether on desktop or in my document, you click on new and then folder, you go ahead and type your name. So if you are called Fatal Mohammed, and your index number is 2122924, whatever it is, you create that folder and then it becomes the root folder where you store all your solutions. This is very important. So I have been using Sebru, let me delete this for a while now, and that's where I'll keep putting the other solutions into for the purpose of these presentations. Now let's delve straight into our practical question. The student candidate WASI 2016 practical exams, question one. With the help of an appropriate text editor, create the HTML codes to produce the page below. The page says my top three subjects are colon, mathematics, English language, and life skills. Now, as you may notice, Anytime you see um, disk or black dotted um, bullet items or bullet listing, it represents an ordered list, right? Because those are the default. Anytime you use an unordered list, they give you a black or a disk-like bullet pattern. When you use an ordered list, it usually gives you numbers or different style formats that you can change. For unordered, you can have circle, you can have square, but default is black or just like um, but bulletin, right? Or button list kind of stuff. Okay, so B says set the title of the page to your full name and index number. The program code should be properly indented and then save the file as ordered underscore list.html in the folder created. In our previous videos, we have solved questions that looked like this. We are still going to go through the process if this is the first video you are watching in our series. So I'm going ahead to bring up our text editor, which is Notepad. Now, once again, I'm going to separate my screen into two with our question on the left and our HTML application on the right. Also, now we're going to create our HTML basic structure. To do that, we're going to have and then we are going to close it as usual. Every tag that you open must be closed. Now in our HTML structure, we are going to have the heading, which is represented by the head. And we are going to have the body. Fantastic. Now, my top three subjects are this, content of our web browser will come into the body. Now we must state our preamble, which is my top three subjects are. We can either do this using a paragraph or do this using a heading. Now I have used paragraphs in our previous examples, but in this case, I'm going to use a heading to also give you a visual um, example of how a heading can also be used to create a preamble of this sort. Now, I don't want our heading size to be so huge. So we're going to have H3 as our heading tag. Now the heading tags from H1, H2, H3, H1 is the biggest, H2 is smaller. The higher you go, the smaller the size of the heading. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and close this, H3. And in our head, you're going to have my top my top three subjects are mm -hmm. 
colon. Fantastic. Now we are going ahead in our body. We are going to have our unordered list. And the tag for that is UL. And we're going to close it. UL. Now we're going to use the list tag to create our specific items in our list. So we are going to close it. Now we're going to copy these three times because we have three items in our list so that each item has its list tags. Okay. Now for the first one, we have mathematics. Next, we have English language. Then we have life skills. Okay. So this basically is supposed to print what we have under A. We can go ahead and save this file. Save us. Now, question 1C says that save it as ordered list underscore HTML. So you're going to save it as ordered underscore list dot HTML. Change our files to all files. We are to save. Fantastic. Now we can run that to see if we will indeed get our questions requirement. Fantastic. So we have these are, uh, no, sorry, that's not what you're looking for. Ordered list, not on ordered list. Okay, so my top three subjects are mathematics, English, and language. Now, because we use the heading type, you realize that our preamble has been bolded. Okay, so our question now requires us to set the title of the page to a full name and index number. That's question one. B. Now we all know that title belongs to the head. So you're going to go ahead, create title, close the tag. Fantastic. Now our title should be our full names. Mine will be Sebru. And our index number, I've just created an index for myself now. Now you notice that. Currently, it says that our title here is ordered list, order underscore list. But now that we have added a title to our text editor, when we go ahead and save it and we run it, it has changed to say brew with my index number. Right. Now, back into our question, it says that the program code must be properly indented. So we're going to simply do that. Okay. Fantastic. Now we are done. We just go ahead and click on save. So we are basically done with question one. The C part says that save the file as ordered underscore list or ATM, which we've already done when we're saving the file initially. So thank you for tuning into this presentation of ATML from the 2016 student candidate WASI paper. Go ahead and try this on your own and see if you get the same results. Cheers, guys.